people, people understand leading and lagging indicators as a whole these days. Uh, the difficult part of that is lagging indicators is always something that will drive uh, a reactive uh, approach. And leading indicators is, is kind of, you really have to have a probability thought process to understand leading indicators. Because if you, if you look at leading indicators and you drive your performance with leading indicators, at some point they're questioned. Uh, whether you're heading in the right direction. Um, with lagging indicators, people are certain that they're addressing the issue that they had. So it's, it's a bit of a sales process on the leading indicator side because the industry's thought process hasn't completely changed to solely focusing on lo uh, leading indicators. So the way that the program actually works is that it, it's, it's peer driven. Now, in a typical process or a typical project, it matters to me as an environmental health and safety manager or professional on that project whether they participate or not because it drives those metrics. When you run a positive reinforcement program uh, that is uh, based on leading indicators, then it not only matters to me, but it matters to every member of that team. So it, it, it switches from a, a, a management-driven program to a peer-driven program where everybody will ask each other if they've done what was necessary to participate in safety so that their team can succeed. So it, it's a two-fold process that really your positive drivers are your leading indicators and your negative drivers of the program are your lagging indicators.